We are in Houston, and today the Riders will challenge each other here in the Lone Star State of Texas. Ricky, are you ready for another exciting race? I was born ready, Ralph, and we can expect anything from a race of this kind. We'll see. The crowd is into it tonight. That will definitely get these Riders pumped up as they wait for the game drop. Welcome to the MX Pro Sofa Show. This is episode three. I am your host, Casey Williams, broadcasting live from my sofa. Episode three is about the first ever Loretta Lens Pro Motocross National. You can follow me on Facebook. Just search Casey Williams. I'm not hard to find. Usually posting about motocross and supercross, usually on the motocross and supercross fans worldwide. So yeah, join that group, and it's ran by my motocross buddy Troy Collier. So yeah, join up and join the fun with us here on Facebook with that. But let's get into the 450 motocross nationals, the first one ever at Little Red Lens, as everybody knows. Wash Eagle has been canceled. Round two is also going to be held at Loretta Lens. And everybody was wondering how this track was going to shape up. They have been running amateur nationals there for 39 years. And a lot of people, including myself, was always wondering how cool it would be to have a pro nationals there to see the top pros right there. It's finally happening. A lot of speculation because it's always been made for an amateur track. They did regroom it, but the things they did to it to make a pro nationals, it got totally thrown out the window because of a monsoon rainstorm. This Tennessee, it just rains in buckets there when it rains. Made a mess of the track. They did a heck of a job rebuilding that track, getting it ready for a pro motocross national. I think he did an excellent job. There was all kinds of passing. They always said the track was too small, too narrow. I think it was one of the best races I ever seen. Lots and lots of passing. And people started up front with back. People started in the back, worked their way up front. I thought it was a great race. But we're going to get into the results of this. And from my very first episode, I want to talk about how I thought they were going to start with the points. Throw that out the window. I probably could have been more wrong about some of these riders. And we're going to get into the results. And I'm going to give you my thoughts of the results right now. Finishing first overall in the first ever Loretta Lens Pro Motocross National. Rockstar Husqvarna Zach Osborne with a 2-1 finish. I'm a huge fan of Zach. Followed him through his mini bike career. Going to Tudor Pros, not having great results. Going to Europe, always following him in Europe. Watch him develop there, come a strong pro, make his way back to US, come a 250 Supercross champion. A 250 outdoor champion now in the 450 class saw him win his first supercross race a few weeks back in the final round of the supercross series and winning the first outdoor national with a 2-1 finish his first moto and okay start he was like ninth tenth made his way through the pack up to second place 
said there almost he crept up on the first moto winner being Jason Anderson he was creeping up on him, but Jason was in protect mode toward the end of it now we'll get to Jason in a little bit but yeah second moto just he took the whole shot led every lap held off a charging Eli Tomac at the end which I'll get to Tomac here in a little bit but Zach Osborne two thumbs up from me so proud to see him win this as I said in my first episode Zach Osborne is the guy to watch in this motocross series he's going to give Eli Tomac fits during this motocross series second overall Rockstar Husqvarna Jason Anderson I was wrong but I didn't think Jason was going to be that motivated but man he came out that first moto of fire he, really, he was on it just he pulled away from everybody he was long gone he got into a pace Zach Osborne was catching him, but you no, know, he was in that protect mode. He was watching Zach. He had that first moto win. Second moto, Zach got the jump on him. He was running there. He was battling with Tomac. He was battling. He was in the hunt for it overall. Then he got tangled up with a lap rider. And I think that was Henry Miller he got tangled up with. And they just blew him out mentally. After that, he kind of lost the fight to get up there. So, yeah, Jason went six more, went one six, excuse me. Yeah, and um, six one for today. Good showing, second overall. Jason's fired up for the series. I love it. He proved me wrong. I love when the racers prove me wrong. So he's going to be in this battle. And man, he had a heck of a battle with Tomac. He was giving Tomac fits and he was looking good. Looking really, really good. Good job on Jason Anderson. Keep it up. Third overall, Monster Energy Kawasaki Eli Tomac with a 7 2 finish. He started up there, started drifting back, ended up finishing seventh. It looked like he was riding stiff, maybe had arm pump. And second moto, he looked more like the Eli Tomac we all got to see. Going into beast mode. He was catching Osborne. Osborne was digging deep. He was digging deep. And even Eli said in his podium interview that they did change some settings between motos, getting more comfortable. So, don't know exactly what went wrong from that first moto. Like I said, suspension settings. Yeah, like I said, today's machinery, so precision tuned, the littlest thing off by the littlest thing just makes everything so he was there in that second moto this is gonna be great going to the next two few rounds the season's gonna be fantastic but he liked Tomac third overall with a 7-2 and on to our next racer finishing fourth overall with the scores of a four and five in the motos Red Bull, KTM, Marvin Muskan. I was really a feel Marvin because of the knee injury so long. He just skipped out on Supercross completely. One year later, it's like he never missed a beat. It's the first round. He rode fantastic, showed a lot of fight. Like I said, just proving me wrong I love when a racer proves me wrong showing that fight really really good man this season's getting 
it's going to be just so good. It's getting better and better. I know I'm going to be saying this a lot. But yeah, I'm so excited for the rest of the season. And we're going to get into our next racer. Fifth overall. With a score of 3-7. Monster Energy Yamaha. Justin Barsha. Like I said, everybody knows he's in his last year's contract with Yamaha. He's probably racing for a spot, maybe here in the U.S. Rumors of him going to Europe. But that first moto, Justin was on it. Man, he came from way back, passing Eli Tomac, Marvin, Baggett, Cooper. He was he was on fire, just straight up fire. And finished third in that first moto. Got a real horrible start in the second moto. Worked his way all the way back to seven. Got fifth overall. He put in a strong, strong fifth overall. Justin was on rails. Uh, if he would have had a better start in that second moto, I think the outcome would have been a little bit different in the second moto. But hey, starts are everything. You really got to get good starts. But great job by Justin Barsha. Another racer that proved me wrong. Like I said, I love when the racers prove, prove me wrong. And now to our next racer. Finishes sixth overall. KTM rider, factory packed, Rocky Mountain, WPS, Fly Racing, Blake Baggett. Blake Baggett as first moto. Like I said, he could be doing the same thing. What happened with Tomag? Suspension may not be where he wanted. But his second moto, super strong. He was coming through the pack, passed some good racers. Great second moto with that fourth place finish. And but like I said, still a little out there on Baggett. That second moto is great. He has these good motos and he had these bad motos. But six overall to start with, with an 8-4. Super, super strong by Blake Baggett. He could be definitely in this mix for, you know, for podiums and wins. And uh, great job by Blake Baggett. Now on to our next racer. Finishing seventh overall, Red Bull KTM Cooper Webb. Motor scores of five and eight. I have to say, this was my big disappointment of the first race. Trust me, most any standards of five eight is great, but for Cooper Webb, this is not good. This was not a good first race. I don't know why it happened. He just wasn't looking that great all day long. I mean, he looked really good at the start of the first moto. But overall, his performance, 5-8, is not cut in Cooper Webb's book. He should have been up there battling with Osborne, Eli, Jason. He should have been giving them guys more than they can handle. But yeah, Cooper Webb, seventh overall, huge disappointment. Very huge disappointment. Finishing eighth overall, with motor scores of 13 3, Honda HRC, Chase Sexton, the rookie in the class. All right, I wasn't too high on Chase Sexton. Boy, he surprised me. He was the fastest qualifier. He was running up there in the first moto. And at the 450 kind of bid him. He hit the, gr he hit the ground. Interesting 13th. You no, know, like I said, 
That 450 is a different beast. You ride him with the big boys. I think he got his reality check. That first moto. Got 13. But then that second moto. Quick learner. Ran up front. And actually he had a pretty decent start. And he worked his way. By. Marvin. Anderson. He was fighting with Tomac. He got up there. He learned real quick. I'm flabbergasted. So impressed with Chase Sexton. He showed he is the real deal. And yeah, I look for Chase to make serious grounds on that 450 looking really, really good. And uh, eighth overall. 13-3. Good start to his 450 career. Keep it up, Chase. Looking good, man. Looking good. On to our next rider. Finishing ninth overall. JGR Suzuki. Joey Savacci with a 9-11 score in the motos. This is about where I figured I would have Joey. He was going to be that 5 to 10 range. I do see him looking to get better. I do see him creeping in the top 5 every now and then, maybe throughout the series. But, strong about ride by Joey. He started up front, left for a little bit in that first moto, faded back to ninth. Like I said, it's been a while since he's been behind the gate and did a race. But 9-11, good start of the season. Got ninth overall. Good race by Joey Savacci. Look for more out of him. Tenth overall, Rockstar Husqvarna, Dean Wilson. Finished 12th in the first moto. Got ninth in the second moto. Tenth overall. This is about where I saw Dean at. He's right on par. Like I said, with a start, he could be up there fighting with them. But yeah, good job by Dean. Saw where he was at. I didn't, I didn't miss this one by too much. But yeah, Dean Wilson, 10th overall. And that does it for the top 10 from the first round of Loretta Lens first ever pro national as you know wash has been canceled round two of the series is going to be back at loretta lens for their second ever pro national 2020 COVID 19 is thrown supercross and motocross in the craziest tailspin ever who knows we might have a third round that will at the ramp so Anyway, that's my top 10. And now for my biggest disappointment of the race. This really pains me to say this. But my biggest disappointment of the race, Adam Cincerello. Got six to first moto. Great job, Adam. Second moto, Zach Osborne whole shots. Adam does take the lead from him. Leads a lap. They didn't show the accident. But he crashes. Bends the bars. He was just showed on TV. Adam hits himself in the chest. He put it all on himself. He knew he blew it. He made the mistake. <sighs> Adam, 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 Adam. Love you, bro. You can't make these mistakes on this level. But you got next week to redeem yourself. But yeah, Adam, you're my biggest disappointment of the race. Time to bounce back. But thank you everybody for watching, listening. 
Hit me up on Facebook, KC Williams, not hard to find. Join our motocross group, motocross and supercross fans worldwide. Yeah, we talk motocross and supercross there. And uh, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see everybody in the next show. My next show will be coming up here real shortly. And that's going to be on the top 10 of the 250 class. See you then.